be back with another one. I'm about to go hit chest and back. Um, yeah, I started up a new program I'm doing. I'm still doing push-pull legs, but I'm doing push-pull legs Arnold hybrid. I, uh, I've been doing it for about a week now, and I, and I like it. We're we, we trying to grow, baby. We're trying to grow. I actually just weighed in at 215, like, the other day, which is like, god damn. So we can, I mean, the highest I ever was was, like, 217 when I was, back when I was, like, 17. So I usually sit around, like, 210, but, you know, we're trying to grow. We're trying, we're trying to get big. We're trying to take over. And in order to take over, you know, we got to show these, we got to show these motherfuckers who we are. We got to define ourselves. So... Yeah, hopefully you guys like that 405 video. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try and get way more consistent now that I'm caught up from all the fucking LA videos. I had like, I think I had like five videos from LA. That's why it took me so long to get them all out. But now that we're all caught up, we, uh, we're litty. So yeah, I'm gonna go tanning right now. Get handsome, you know the drill. You already know what you're doing. Check out the new haircut too. Mm. Look at that burst fade. Mm. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like this. Um, I'm excited for the new content coming out. I'm super motivated right now. My training has been insane. I've literally been training like a maniac because I, I want I want this more than ever, man. I just I keep trying to push myself beyond my limits, push past my limits, and uh, yeah, that's uh, I might touch on that today. I might do a little car talk. We'll see if I have enough content. But uh, yeah. Reels goblins be like, <laughs> my, my homie about to film them, film them reels. My homie's doing them reels. <laughs> that's the that's the best cinematographer. I'm about to fire, bro. I'm about to fire, bro, and hire, bro. <laughs> my my little bench monkey. I need to get like a fuck let me go down here. I need to get like a table or like a bed over here because I'm just fucking I'm that four or five spotter guy. I'm just that fucking one spotter guy. I, I literally have zero originality to me whatsoever. I literally just spotted one Wego Gym guy doing fucking 405 one time, and now I'm that one spotter guy. We need to get you like the teacher nameplate, put it like right on top of the bar, and it'll be like I haven't, 405 spotter guy. I didn't even do it myself two well, years younger you? or anything like that. Well, Show me something you got. Show me what you got in there. Come on, Kobe. I know there's something more in there. Come on. I'm such a if only I didn't have to turn to the side for everybody to see how fucking big my chest is every time. 
But then I fucking turned this way and everybody's like, ah, oh, Steffi got a chest. And I turned this way and people were like, bro, yo, Steffi got them yiddies for real. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> fucking, I do. I don't have a fucking upper chest because I, I don't know why. I, just, I need to fucking do incline more, I guess. But you need to hit your peck flies, clearly. We're flat benching. I've been doing that. I've been doing them to failure. That's why we're doing chest and back. That's why I'm gonna fucking do that Arnold split. So I can fucking get an Arnold chest. Fucking get that Arnold upper chest. And fucking, uh, fucking have that. Uh, uh. <laughs> Bro, I got a three thousand dollar donation last night in my stream. Thanks, Bobby. That was fucking crazy. If you're watching this, Bobby, which you probably aren't, because you have no idea who I am. That's fucking dope. Thank you. I all my homies on stream saw that. If, if you haven't watched my streams yet, twitch.tv slash Steph Myers with two S's at the end. M-E-Y-E-R-S-S. -S. Just met Kobe. Just met K-Y. It was nice meeting you, Kay. I was wondering how to hip Get my shirt off without a pump. I need, a re I need scapular retraction. I fucking, I fucking love retracting my scapula. Oh my god. Every second of that. Alright. That shit was slow for real. That shit was slow. I'm done. But my homie Kobe my homie Kobe's the gym bro. He, he saw me in a he saw me in a stringer and he couldn't he couldn't help but fucking change out of it. He's done it three times. But at least he embraces he's a gym bro. My homie's epic. My homie's an epic gym bro. He's not like a pit viper gym bro, but he's like on the cusp. But he would never do it. That's why he's my gym bro. I'm just a little gamer boy trapped in a gym bro's fucking body. I'm just a gamer. I just got three thousand dollars donated to me on Twitch. I'm officially a gamer now. Oh thanks. <laughs> I wasn't even. I wasn't even giving. I was trying to just hold it like a vlog, and then my camera jockey fucking took it. Camera monkey. Camera monkey. I feel weird saying that. I feel like I can't say that word. Yes, it's an animal, bro. I know, but it just feels like I, I know, I know. Alright, have a new Smith machine. Oh, you put it at the perfect angle. You only need a 30 degree angle to get proper activation of the upper chest. Anybody tells you different. This is the, I, bro, this, that's the worst angle ever. <laughs> I've done that angle once, I'll never do it again. I hope you know it wasn't doing it seriously. I, I know. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna do my catchphrase. Go, go, handsome PR. Guys, it's time to have a handsome PR! It's handsome time! It's handsome, it's handsome time. <laughs> we get handsome! <laughs> we get handsome! I'm not fucking Lex gonna be watching this shit like this. <laughs> awkward, awkward wrap up. Let me wrap up for the Smith machine. Make sure my fucking wrist is secure. Ah, it wasn't as, it wasn't as good. Don't you do it again, I know you want to. Go up there. No. I forgot. I forgot to shave. I forgot. I forgot to shave my fucking chest today. I forgot. Maybe if you get, if you go back far enough, let me take pictures. You won't see it. <laughs> do think. Do think. Do think. Do think. Do think. Do think. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Come on now. He's gotta go. <laughs> Me and my brother. I can't lie, that blue looks good on you though. He's running around. This man simply astonishes me. Oh, that thing's crazy. I've, I, this is, this is comical. No, no, let it, let it. This is the funniest shirt I think I've ever seen in my life. You might be the funniest guy I know. Bro, bro has the, bro, bro doesn't have the Uber V, bro has the Ultra V. 
<laughs> Did you cut that? You can't go half-ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put that in quotation marks. I'm gonna put, you can't go half-ass, bro. God damn. Oh my. It just, the way it just teleported into my hand. <laughs> my shit's, my shit's on another plane. That shit fucking... A ain't nobody debating whether Beth got the fucking low chest. Me, me and I fucking... I got no chest from up front and then I turn to the side and I got the best chest in the industry. <laughs> now you got motherfuckers to think twice before shitting on my chest, for real. Let me get that upper chest. G give me fucking a couple months and you'll fucking see. I'll be like... Mm. <laughs> We're out of pump. <laughs> What? Lightsaber? <laughs> Wait, let me think of it. Where? New step pose. What weapon does a fat Jedi use? A heavy saber. <laughs> Reno can pull a T-pose off like me. Steph POV2 Steph. <laughs> this is really what it like. My neck ain't never been at that angle before. Alrighty. Hopefully, I don't get interrupted, but... Alright, this is like my fucking third time trying to record this clip because it's the 3rd of July and for some reason people are lighting off fireworks. Oh, oh, 3rd of July, my favorite holiday. <laughs> Alright, so, I really don't know if fireworks are gonna fucking go off, but this is my last time recording this clip, so... I don't really care. If you hear fireworks in the back, I'm sorry. We're doing this. It's like almost, it's 12 o'clock at night. It's officially the fourth actually now. <laughs> These fireworks have been going off since 11 p.m. Anyways, I've been trying to record this clip for like a week and I've been procrastinating, but we're doing it now. So I wanted to talk about negative experiences and how you can use negativity to push you further and turn it into a positive. Now, that may sound like fighting your demons, and you know what? It might be another term for fucking, fighting your demons might be another term for what I'm talking about. So, if you have a problem with that, I'm sorry. I think fighting your demons is a pretty corny expression, and it may pertain to this a little bit, but what I'm gonna talk about is not corny, and it's gonna help you fucking improve your life tenfold, and it literally, probably, one of the single most important things that helped push my life to the next level. So, if you want your life to go to the next level, fucking listen to what I have to say. Let's just dive right into it. Negative experiences. Can you guys think of a time right now, think of it right now, where somebody said some shit to you and it really fucking pissed you off. It really upset you and you kind of just heard it, accepted it, and let it go. You just, never really tried to think about it again because obviously why would you it's a negative experience and it's something that causes negative emotion inside of you why would you want to keep bringing that emotion up i'm going to tell you why i'll use me for an example many of you might not know that i used to play hockey i played my almost my entire life up until my junior year of high school i played varsity hockey on a very good team and i quit my junior year and I was ready. I was so ready to quit. I was done. I loved fitness. Fitness was my utter utmost passion. I was done. I didn't want to play hockey anymore. I liked hockey, but I did not love it like I loved lifting and fitness. So when I quit hockey, I obviously was at a pretty good level. And one of my dad's friends was at the gym one time that I went to and I ended up bringing my dad this day. And they're talking about it and they say, oh, how's Steph doing with hockey? I'm overhearing them, I'm getting changed in my gym clothes. We're all in the locker room, but I'm at another part. His friend asks him, 
oh, how's Steph doing with hockey and stuff? And then my dad goes, oh, well, he quit hockey. He knew he's trying to pursue this whole fitness and bodybuilding thing. The guy says back to him, oh, he's gonna regret that, huh? And I kind of just heard it, registered, and I was like, all right, piss me off. I was like, all right. And I directly go and have probably one of the best fucking back workouts I've ever had. This is back when I was like 17. Those words from that day were just forever burned into my brain. I just simply will never forget what that guy said. And I, I don't hold a grudge against bro. Like, good on him. I don't blame bro for saying that. It's whatever. People say shit. He probably didn't mean it in a bad way. But for me personally, <laughs> I just thought in my head, like, I I'm going to prove this motherfucker wrong. I, I was already going to do fitness and all this other stuff. He wasn't the deciding factor, but it was like, it, it was like a, mm, I really just want to make this motherfucker eat his words. I, I, I just want to prove this fucking guy wrong. That was really the, one of the first kind of times that I had truly turned a negative experience into something great. And I, I had done it a couple times before, but this one really stuck with me because I literally have, and it's not just pertaining to my dad's friend, it's to all the people that hated and didn't believe in what I was doing when I first started out, but I have it stitched on the inside of my belt. It says, prove them wrong. And I have it, I wear it on my wrists. It says, prove them wrong, one of this bracelet. And it sounds corny, but when you use a negative experience like that and you're like, you know what? I really... I really wasn't okay with that. You, you, you have to kind of let it get you pissed off. You have to kind of have a little chip on your shoulder and be like, mm, no, wasn't cool with that. That doesn't mean you have to be a dickhead to people or an asshole. You need to keep it to yourself, but say you're going to the gym, you need to make sure that fucking workout is phenomenal because you need to prove those people wrong. You need to prove those bullies at school wrong. You need to prove whoever wrong. And it's not always about that. You could have a negative experience doing anything. But I look at it as there's positive and negative energy. And the way I see it, the world doesn't discriminate between the two. Energy is just energy. It's black and white. It's just either it is energy or it's not. Don't get me wrong. I love going to the gym fucking hyped and euphoric and off pre-workout and listening to music and I'm having the best day ever and I, I'm, I'm, I'm living it up. I definitely enjoy that. It's very euphoric. But I'm not always fucking happy and sometimes I'm really fucking pissed off. Like 99% of the people watching. You're not always going to be fucking happy and sometimes you kind of get pissed. Why would you take your negative feelings and be like, uh, you know, like that really upsets me and like, I, I don't like feeling that way. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it behind me and, and never think about it again. Not that you always have to dread it. I don't always think about bro saying I'm gonna regret it. I, I don't think about that 24 seven, but I do bring it up when I need to. I take a negative experience and I put it into a box and then I close the box and I put it somewhere else. This is called compartmentalization. Then when I need a little bit of extra jolt or something, when I'm like, damn, I'm kind of half-assing this workout, I take the box, bring it back, open it up, and here's all this energy that I otherwise would have just fucking tossed out the window. Here it is. Now it's going to provide something positive for me. It's going gonna, it's gonna to push me harder towards my goal, something good, something positive. This is the power of using negativity to create positivity. And that doesn't just have to be for in the gym. When I go to edit a video, or I don't, or I, I'm lacking motivation to edit the video, think of somebody that said I couldn't do it, or said I would never be where I am now. And I look back and I'm like, holy shit, like, imagine if I listened to that motherfucker. <laughs> look, look at me now. And I'm like, I gotta keep proving these fucking people wrong. I just gotta keep doing it. Because if, if I don't, then, then they'll, they'll win. And they'll be right about me. And I... I wasn't cut out. I wasn't cut from the same cloth. Because that's what they told me, right? So it must be true. Nope. You are the fucking master of what you want to be. It, if you think to yourself, oh, 
I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not cut, I'm not cut out for it. Yeah, I'm not probably not gonna do it. Then you'll never do it. You'll, you'll simply want the the second that you tell yourself that you can't, you won't. But the the second that you start to kind of question it a little bit, like, what if I did just, what if I did just go for it? And and then you start to think of all the people that don't believe in you. And it's great. I love the people that do believe in me that I've had plenty of friends and, and some family that were there for me from the start, from the get go saying, you can do this. And, and that is great. And I don't discredit them. But once you kind of start to think about the people that tried to put you down and the people that tried to keep you at their level, because that's really what it boils down to, then you're like, I don't want to be like them. Why the fuck would I want to be like them? They're just dragging people down. They're, they're they're creating negativity out of nothing. Like there's no point of of putting all this negativity into the world. I want to create something positive. I want to I want to do something with my life. At, at that moment, when you start to question it, that's the transition. That's when you have unlocked a different part of your brain where now you're questioning everything. Hmm. I, I just hit a five plate squat at seventeen. What else can I do? I just bench 405 at 19. I just deadlifted 675 pounds at 19. I just got a fitness sponsorship. I, I never thought this stuff was possible a couple years ago. And, and here I am and I look back and I'm like, wow, this is, this is, it's unreal. And, and that pushes me even harder. Like if I can do this, I can do more. I, I can be more, I can, I can provide more to people. I can be a positive influence on others through my negative experiences. And for me, that is the most gratifying thing in the world. The fact that you guys can take a positive from the hardships and the trauma and the negativity that went on in my life. It, it honestly, it's healing, not just the current state of me, but more so that younger version of me that never had somebody that looked out for them back then. And never looked out for that kid that didn't know what was going on when he was being bullied and was was told he would he would just never be anything and you can you can believe that you could say i'm making that up whatever you want but i'm telling you right now that i've had plenty of people say worse things than that to me imagine if i just listened and i didn't go for it and and i let i let that shit get to me that negativity i let it i let it just fucking eat away at me and i succumbed to nothingness i wouldn't be anything you wouldn't even know my name, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. I I got so fucking fed up and so fucking pissed off that I, I wasn't gonna be anything, that I became something. Yeah, going back to it, there is a lot of times where I'm, I am happy and I am fucking super positive, but I, I truly believe in the, to the bottom of my fucking heart that I would not be where I am without the negative experiences that shaped me into who I am today. I honestly, as good as I loved the more positive, prominent experiences in my life, the negative experiences are what created me. They're what created Steph Myers, the person that you're listening to and the person that you're taking advice from and watching across from the camera right now. I wouldn't be able to help you and and help you push past something or help you utilize your negativity without the negative experiences that I went through. You see, that's that's what it boils down to. It literally is creating a positive out of a negative. I hope you guys can understand kind of what I'm trying to get at by saying all this stuff. It might be a little bit confusing, but I'm sure some of, if not most of you are thinking of a, a negative experience or something negative that somebody said to you that that just kind of fucking pissed you off and and you're like what have I been doing man I need, I need to I need to fucking prove these people wrong I need to go do the thing that I need to fucking do to prove these fucking people wrong I need to take my life to the next level I need to become more I need to do more and I hope you are I hope you will I want to help you guys more than anything. That that is my goal and and the fact that I can entertain and also provide positivity and also inspire you guys. That just that's 
it's it's honestly like soul fulfilling. I want to take you guys along this journey with me and I want you guys to see that it's not all fucking sunshine and rainbows and butterflies. I've had to fucking drag my knuckles through the fucking pavement to get to where I am. This hasn't been no fucking easy road. It's not it's not easy. Not that people say it is, but I think a lot of people act like things are easier and better than they seem to kind of soften the cushion a little bit on people and I don't look at it like that I look at it like if I show you the fucking bullshit and negativity that I've gone through that you guys can see holy shit like if he could get through that I, I relate that to this in my life this is this is something similar to what I had to go through and this really hurt and nobody speaks about this nobody talks about this like maybe maybe Steph's onto something here you need to use your pain as fuel you need to stop holding yourself back there's so much more in you and you're the only person that holds the key to that lock so you can keep sitting and waiting for somebody to unlock it or you can do it yourself because you're the only one that can bring that out of you the only way to get to that next level is through negativity and through pushing through hardship because all the greatest things in life come after pain. Hopefully that made sense to you guys. Um, I kind of want to talk about that. It's something I think about a lot and it's something that I utilize in my life a lot like I spoke about. Um, it really truly has helped push me to where I am today and hopefully you guys can kind of understand my mindset on it and apply it to your own life. I truly, really do appreciate all the support and you guys are literally single-handedly making my dream come true and I literally wouldn't be anything in this industry if it wasn't for you guys. So I owe it all to you and I'm happy that I can do a talk like this and give back to you guys and I'm gonna try and do more and I'm gonna try and upload two times a week because you guys are loving the videos and are showing so much support we're almost at 10k I'm gonna do a 14 to 19 year old transformation once I hit 10k that'll be the 10k special um, you guys heard it here first if you made it to the end of the video please drop a like let's try and hit 2,000 likes on this video we I think we got to two I think we just hit 2k on my last one which is the 405 bench one so if we can if we can if we can try hit 2k this again that, that would be freaking sick man you guys are killing it I love you please subscribe and peace catch you in the next one